Miss Tamara Tiarto. I hope I pronounced that right. Hi. Good job. Hi. Anything that had to do with mechanical engineering, I almost could not comprehend it. Mechanical, yeah. pero nalang alam ko. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from the camera. <laughs> Beer or wine? <laughs> Coke <Yeah>. Zero. Welcome to the Dog Behind the Human. This is your host, Doug Coach Francis, with my wonderful co-host. Tina Ryan here. And how long has it been, Coach? Parang nag-break yeah, ma parang, tayo last ano, week? I, I think we took a break last week. Everything has been busy. I guess we were both preparing for the ECQ. Oh, yeah. Season that. 3! Hey, Tina, ang guest natin ngayon is someone very special for me kasi nagkaklase ko to. I think 2006 siya nag-grad. Oops! Ayan, nasabi ko na. Basta mag- <laughs> Basta na graduate siya ahead of me kasi sa akin, bulak-bulak ko sa College of Engineering. Siguro, introduce ko na lang. Ang guest natin for tonight is a Filipino actress. Tapos, uh, she is an entrepreneur. Hindi lang dito sa Philippines, pero dinala niya yung kanyang skills sa US. And she is, of course, a beauty pageant idol holder, holder who won and was crowned Miss Philippines Earth 2004. Who knew na magiging uh, uh, beauty queen pala itong kaklasikon to na napakatahimik. Tina, ano yung bote na yan? Umiinom ka ba? Oh, oh mayroon liquor yeah. ban. <laughs> May liquor ban. Mga gagawin kong propagation battles. Wala na naman, coach. Relax. Alam mo na yung mag-ahalaman ako ulit. Dahil beauty queen ang guest natin, guys. May pa-off shoulder si Madab. Uh, <laughs> ayan, sige. Well, let's welcome on the show, Miss Tamara Tiarto. I hope I pronounced that right. Hi. Good job. Hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. Guys, so everyone watching right now, Tammy is in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, which I've never been to. <laughs> I've only been to the East Coast twice, I think, but I heard it's a beautiful place. So when was the last time you guys saw each other? Ooh. Tapos sa baykain ng popcorn and chips, ano? Okay, guys. <laughs> 2006, right, coach? Right. Right, yeah. right. 2006. Oh my goodness. So since college, hindi pala kayo nakita na. No, we have not spoken. Really. Wow. So, Tammy, tell me. What kind of classmate was coach? <laughs> <laughs> totally different as well. So he was always very friendly. The way you see him now, that's always been him. He's, he's very genuine. Um, <laughs> but... He can also be very distracting because I'm. I was one of those very serious students, and you cannot oh. hang out with with coach and be able to study at the same time. It's just not gonna happen. Maingay sa madaling salita. Um, how difficult was it for you, Tammy? Ako kasi alam ko parang hindi ka naman nahirapan eh. Pero did you have any difficulties adjusting? Because you got up from. Uh, from the College of Arts and Science and then all of a sudden you, here you are solving math equations uh, doing science and stuff yes and no there were it, it depended on the on the topic if it was math calculus okay I could do that but thermodynamics and there was one other like anything that had to do with mechanical engineering I almost could not comprehend it Mechanical, yeah. pero nga lang alam ko. <laughs> <laughs> did you join like uh, any pageants in college? Which led you to... Did they push you? Like, kasi you have the height and the looks, obviously. And of course, being an engineering student. It's like, sabi ko, tamigay coach, TP yan. Coach, 
total package. <laughs> Beauty and brains. Um, so the way it started was in 2003. Um, because I, I live in Cavite with my aunt. Um, there was a woman, her name is Karen. She saw me at Jollibee. That's why I love Jobby. Um, <laughs> Jollibee. And I was still, I was a little bit, I was not skinny. So she said, hey, you're tall. Um, you could be a potential model, but you're going to have to lose like 30 pounds in one month. But I can, but we can make it happen. I'll introduce you to a designer. His name is Michelangelo Afable, and he leads the Body Shots Cavite modeling competition. So that's where, how I started. <laughs> Wait, so Tammy, uh, did you ever think that coach would take this path? Like, no, he's... I saw him as one of those um, guys who would go into engineering, full blast. But I also thought, he's going to get bored. So when I saw that he went into um, dog coaching, I'm like, perfect. This is this is perfect for him. <laughs> and by the way, for those of you who are watching, earlier you saw like a dog pass behind Tammy. That's her baby. And her name's Dumpling, and she's an 80-pound shepherd hound german shepherd hound i can call her dumpling girl say hi dad. there you go that's dumpling <laughs> oh my god pretty girl oh yeah she she's a pretty girl how old is she tammy she's going to be four oh tomorrow oh. <gasps> oh, hey. and is she a rescue yes there you oh go. Oh my god, look at that face. <laughs> look at that. Pretty tall. Oh my gosh. Hi, Dumpling. <laughs> She's Dumpling. Uh, okay, so Dumpling is from a high kill shelter in Tulsa, Ooh. Oklahoma that was transported to a shelter in New Jersey. And that's how I found her. She was at a shelter in New Jersey. Yeah. All right, Tammy, but since then, um, we missed you. But I'm biglang nawala ang isang. Uh, Tamera Siarto sa, sa circle namin whether that's in the Philippines or in the US maybe you can share what happened um, and so I won Miss Philippines in 2004 um, and in 2005 I noticed that there were all of these like like extremely negative comments um, and in accounts that were popping up, imposter accounts with my name and photo on it, uh, claiming to be me. Um, and I've tried my best to contact social media to remove them. But I think this um, impersonator was, was very creative in a sense that I was not able to take them down. Um, and there would be like really compromising photos. So. I went with um, some co-workers, for example, to Cebu, and we all shared like a big room. And I happened to just, you know, sit on the bed with, and there's like 10 of us in the room, but yeah. somebody would be taking photos and yeah. I would be next to somebody. And it would look like I like, you know, with that person. And I'm uh -huh. like, oh my gosh, this is gone, gone on like, far enough um i need to get out of social media so that there would be no more photos and i just i just i just had to leave for my own like mental health and because the accounts weren't going down until this year <laughs> it was a long what is that 15 years wow. so Iba. this year ka lang ulit bumalik sa social media tammy if you think you know whoever did that to you um have you forgiven that person um, I I think no. But if I'm being honest, no, mm -hmm. because that was a shitty thing to do to somebody you don't know. Uh, but I now that I'm more mature, I don't think I care as much anymore. Whatever they say about me, um, back then I did because you know I was Miss Philippines. I had a certain standard to to yeah. portray yeah. I wanted to be a good example and that was preventing me from doing that um, can you DM me the name <laughs> 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 I'm 
ako na, ako na, ako na, uupak sa pangyayari. Gino ko yan, gino ko yan, ipapakakitos na budget ko. Maganda rin yung ano, kwento ng career niya ngayon. So, before we get into that, meron akong papakita sa iyo, Tina Ryan and Tammy. Ooh, Maybe memories. you can tell us. Well, yeah, parang naalala ko to. I forgot kung sinong kaklase natin, pero she was te- uh, he was teasing you so much with this uh, video. I don't know if you remember, pero maganda tong kantang to. So, I think Naku. Tammy knows this already. So, here it goes. And... We'll play it. Abangan mo kung sino to. Wait, sino ba na to? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Brown Man Revival. Yes. Oh, Please, th- abangan, mo. Oh, abangan mo. Abangan mo, ha? Sino yan? Oh, hey! Yes! <laughs> sino yan? And uh, yes. ending nito is... Ayan. Yeah, so that was okay. So that was from Brown Mind Revival. Tammy, medyo magulo. Alam ko na panood ko even way back. Pero can you give us a quick kwento? Ano ba tong video na to? <laughs> the director was Ian Veneracion. Oh my god, he's so cute by the way. Um <laughs> I think Tammy, he's still, still hot. Ian is yes. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just going to stay away from the camera. <laughs> so I did it for my designer friend. You know, I was trying to be professional, but I did not know how severe the script was going to be. Um, that I was going to be playing a, a gay person. And right now, this video seems like just out of place, out of time, right? Because it's <laughs> right. <of> like homophobic. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> the song blew up, basically. In the band. Oh, in the band. I'm like, oh no. Right. <laughs> Good for I them. I still listen to them. Hey. So, um, Tammy, going forward um, in your career right now, what is it that you do now? Yeah, so currently I coach entrepreneurs. Um, so I don't know if it's similar in the Philippines, but in the US, usually economic development organizations, which are Sometimes, you know, there are government departments like the Small Business Administration or um, their nonprofits, or uh, they could be a CDFI, a Community Development Financial Institution, where, you know, uh, banks might provide them some funding and then they'll and then they'll match it with their own funding. And they disperse this to entrepreneurs, early stage companies or small businesses that are in startups. Startups and also um, creative maker type okay. of businesses. So like somebody who makes uh, jewelry or paintings or clothes, things like that. Cool. Um, uh-huh. And sometimes the, the startup founders themselves are engineers and they don't really know the business side. So so I coach um, entrepreneurs on, you know, how do you create a sustainable business uh, where you're able to pay yourself a salary and create high-paying jobs um, or or livable paying, uh, livable, creating livable wages for your employees, things like that. How long have you been doing it, doing that um, coaching back there? Yeah, so I started in um, 2013 during my MBA program. And then I went into banking after because uh, I, I got a pretty uh, enticing offer, so I took it. Uh, so I went into financial services from 2014 to 2017. And then like end of 2017, early 2018, I went back into like this type of economic development uh, work. All right. So um, let's uh, bring this to the close, Tammy. Well, um, you adopted a dog. Tapos you've had dogs here before. Iba yun pag-aalaga ng aso sa US. And then pati yun... Oh. Pag-aalaga ng aso dito sa Philippines. Um, coming from the Philippines and then onto the U.S. soil, uh, what's the key difference that you've noticed? What I think I like the most about caring for dogs in the U.S. is they're, they're, they're not laws, but dog owners follow them to a T. Like you should have this, this, and this vaccination for your dog or your puppy every year to make sure they're healthy. So there's like clear 
understandings, although they're not rules, um, understandings of, of what a dog owner should do. Uh, so they, they check everything. They check your finances, your home, do you have children, and they match. They kind of help you uh, find a dog that fits your family. It's not like your neighbor's dog gave birth and here's a puppy. You know, they just hand it to you without knowing, are you able to care for this dog? Um, I, I think I like that that structure. All right. <laughs> so I guess, Tina, it's time to bring in our Zoomies round. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So. <laughs> what is your favorite Filipino food? Ooh, um, caldereta. Oh. Oh, uh, All is right. That beef, chicken, or <laughs> kambing? <laughs> Pwede cartilage lahat. Cartilage lahat. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite place? Budapest, Hungary. Oh, this is popular there. Beer or wine? <laughs> Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink alcohol anymore. <laughs> um, Tammy, sunset or sunrise? Sunset. I I don't think I wake up early enough to ever see sunrise. <laughs> uh, is, is the baby awake? Oh my gosh. Yeah, do you want to see now? her? Yes, please. Yeah, We'd love to see the baby. Aww. <laughs> okay, oh, we'll really jealous. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Say hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Have you ever right. sent a text message to the wrong person? I don't think I have. I may have pretended that it was sent to the wrong person in the past. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tammy, if you had a warning label, what would it say? Warning, extremely quiet and shy, but approachable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are about to get into a fight. What song comes on your soundtrack? <laughs> Good day, Eminem, um, to like collapse. You to like collapse. Eminem. <laughs> Eminem to like collapse. It's the best. <laughs> All right, do an imitation of Dumpling's Barb. Oh, that's easy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> she has a very big male voice. Right. Okay. Well, Tammy, to close the show, this is your point. Uh, but let's do it like a you know, like uh, beauty pageant. Right? <laughs> Tammy, you've reached the finals of the Dog Behind the Human podcast. <laughs> and this is your final question. For you, Tammy, who is the dog? behind the human for Tamara Tiarto. I, I would say that Dumpling has been the best and most effective um, at figuring out how to cheer me up and being there for me at my lowest. Um, that And that's why I've been able to recover is partly because of that without, you know, uh, sinking deeper into whatever it is I'm going through. Um, even at the shelter, I think she found me because when I was going through the cages at the shelter and I asked to see her, um, she kind of knew I was sad that day. So she just put her head down on me and gave me like, um, don't worry, I'll be here. Like she knew Aww. we were strangers at that point. <laughs> so uh, I think she saved me. I did not save her. She definitely Aww. saved me. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna wake up my baby. Wait, <laughs> that almost made me cry. Thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, I I don't I don't know how to thank you. Um, it's been a while, but the moment I invited her, um, Tina, she said, "Yes, kailan yan." So. Oh, yeah, so in a heartbeat. You, Tammy. In a heartbeat. So thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, welcome back to social media, and we are here <laughs> to back you up in your, uh, no, in your. We got you, or... girl. Yes, okay. thank you. Whatever. Hanapin natin yun, right? I know who yeah. it is. I'll tell you guys. <laughs> Let's end the show, coach. DM na tayo. DM. <laughs> All right, and that's it for the show. Thank you for listening to the Dog Behind the Human podcast. This has been No Good Francis saying keep healthy. Keep safe. Tina Ryan, bye.
Bye. And don't forget to pay your dog. We'll see you in the next one.